right, so here's my Arctic Kiwi that's been growing for about either four or five years. I'm not, I don't really remember exactly. I think it's like four years. This is either its fourth year or its fifth year going into it. And I planted this, I believe, in the fall of one of those years. So it's four or five years. Anyway, this tree has never gave me the inclination that it is ever going to produce flowers or any kind of fruit. I figured at this point, this plant is never going to produce anything. After four or five years, I should have seen something, right? And I didn't see anything. So, coming out here, I'm looking at the plant. I'm just kind of observing it and looking around. And, and so, I noticed this. This is the first time I've ever seen anything like this on here. Maybe try zooming in, you can get a better shot. Let's see how that looks. Look at that. I've never seen that before. If it's a female flower, it's a female flower. I, I wouldn't know. I don't know the difference between the males and the females. Actually, that would probably be the female. This is the uh, tag for it that's coming off of could just slip that back in there we don't lose it that's a tag for the plant that's planted on this side and that's the female and this branch is coming off the female plant so that would have to be a female flower over here and if you look all the way up right over see if I can locate it now there that's the other one so there's two flowers now that would have to be a male on the male side so, because that's coming off the branches on the male side. What I can say that I noticed that made these two things flower, and I remember reading on the pots, because I still have the old pots for this. You know, I keep all my old pots. See? So here's the old pot. And there is instructions on here that... Talk about feeding it phosphorus and it talks about pruning it and stuff. And the only part of this bush right now or vine that's actually throwing out any flowers is an area that I did prune it back. Because this branch was like hanging in my way so I just cut it out. So I did prune it and it does seem like it stimulated it to form some kind of a flower over here. Alright, so and if you look at the other one that's up over here. Where is it? It's up in here somewhere. That's coming off of that branch that's pruned right there. All right. See, there's that little one right there. That is coming off of that branch, and I pruned it. So it appears that what you need to do is, I did this in the spring. So that's when a sap is running. They tell you generally you don't prune your, your bushes or your trees when the sap is running, you want to prune them in the fall. I don't know if that'll work with this. I pruned this thing in spring, early spring. Sap was running. The, the branches were dripping like a, you know, you know like, a, like a faucet. A lot of water was coming out of them. It wasn't killing them, but it was running its sap. Surely enough, coming off of one of these branches, I see a flower. Could that have anything to do with it? I don't know. But it may have some kind of major influence as to sorry about that I got disturbed it may have some kind of major influence as to whether these plants or this vine will flower so you may have to prune it back in spring pretty severely and then of course you're not hurting the tree in any way or this vine in any way because once it's well established you cut it look at how these vines are coming out of this thing I'm gonna have to prune this thing anyway eventually Again, I mean, look at this. Look at how high this thing's shooting up these branches. That's almost the height of my greenhouse. It's over the height of my greenhouse, some of those branches right there. Eventually, they get really tall, and then they flop over. Which, ultimately, what I was trying to do is just build up the vine to put a nice, big, fat, round canopy on top of this, you know, wooden frame that I built for it. 
and just let it grow in. I figured I'd let it grow in and I'll trim it back what I want once it fills in. I wasn't worried about fruit. I was more or less doing it for aesthetics, though originally I bought it to grow fruit. But I figured I'm not, never going to get fruit from it. Just kind of gave up on it. So I figured I'd share that with you, that the Arctic Kiwi is actually starting to produce some kind of fruit. So it's going to take you a while, but eventually you will end up with fruit. So that's it, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.